In this recording, we'll be exploring a button called Reveal Formatting in Microsoft Word. Now, it's not a command you'll find on any particular tab, and so we're going to add it to our Quick Access Toolbar, the shortcut bar, and here's my QAT underneath my ribbon. So I click on my drop down arrow to customize the QAT, go down to more commands, change popular commands to all commands, which will then repopulate the list to show me every command in Word, click on any one of them, and the letter R, which goes straight down to the commands beginning with the letter R, scroll down a few pages, and there's reveal formatting. I can add it to my QAT. So here's how it works. First of all, the document. A really simple document which has three styles of headings. Mountains, heading one. Lakeland, heading two. Then Helvellyn, or Haystacks, heading three. Once again, Welsh, heading two. Brecon's, heading three. Scottish, heading two. Ben Nevis, heading three. So let's first of all put our mouse in mountains. Of course, that's heading one. Click on the reveal formatting button and a new pane arrives on the right hand side. And it gives you all the settings or the formatting settings for what you've selected mountains you can see there 16 point heading one etc i'm going to compare that now to another selection so click on the little tick box compare to another selection and let's go to lakeland i'm comparing mountains to lakeland mountains is 16 point lakeland 13 point one is a paragraph two one is a paragraph one, level one compared to two. So you can see the spacing is also different. It's a really good way of finding out what differences there might be between one bit of text and another. Let's take off the compare and let's try again. This time we're going to click in Helvellyn, compare to another location and click on Brecon's. Although there's no difference in the styles, they're both heading three, there is a difference in the bulleted list. And again, those differences are shown. So it's only a simple button called Reveal Formatting, but one I found quite useful to use occasionally in Microsoft Word.